at the moment, uh, bilateral trade between two, two nations is more than one billion US dollars. By concluding an FTA with Thailand, we hope that bilateral trade and investment will increase. Uh, we would invite buyers uh, from all over the world to showcase all products manufactured oh. in Pakistan under one roof. Welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusumayo Thasamud. Pakistan is located at the crossroads of South Asia, Central Asia, China, and the Middle East, and is thus at the fulcrum of a regional market with a vast population, large and diverse resources, and untapped potential for trade. U.S. investment bank Goldman Sachs puts Pakistan as the 26th largest economy based on purchasing power parity. It is noted that the country is the world's fourth largest producer of cotton and the second largest exporter of cotton yarn, according to Trade Development Authority of Pakistan. Dr. Nazim Latif is a commercial counselor at Pakistan Embassy is our guest to discuss Pakistan, Thailand, trade and investment relations and the country's first textile sector specific exhibition or Texpo 2016 with Thailand Today. Please welcome Dr. Nazim Latif. He is a commercial counselor, Pakistan Embassy. Sadika. Welcome to Thailand today. Thank you. And uh, for your information, you're supposed to be the first after we renovated. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I just well, um, we know that Pakistan stands located in the with many parts like Asia, Central Asia, and uh, it's in South Asia. So, how does this do anything any beneficial for the country of Pakistan? Oh yeah. Well, uh, as, as you as you very rightly mentioned, Pakistan is uh, is located at a very strategic position or location. Mm -hmm. We have uh, China in our north, mm -hmm. India in its both are large mm -hmm. booming yes. economies, uh, and we have Central Asia towards the west and the and Iran of course, mm -hmm. and in the south we have Indian Ocean or, or Bay of uh, Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, Pakistan has been part of old Silk Road, but you will be interested to know mm -hmm. that there has been uh, 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 an effort mm -hmm. by Pakistan and Chinese government mm -hmm. uh, and with the help of Chinese uh, investment, Pakistan and China are building uh, China economic China-Pakistan economic corridor, mm -hmm. which will link mm -hmm. the western part of China right down to Arabian Sea, where we have built a deep sea port, Gawadar. Mm -hmm. Now, this China-Pakistan economic corridor will further increase the connectivity mm -hmm. in the region. Yes. As I said, Pakistan has been part of old Silk Route, but this is now the perhaps revival mm -hmm. of a Silk Route. It, it will not only allow Chinese products to pass through Pakistan and then have access mm. to Middle East and other markets through our yeah. port in, 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 mm. in Gawada, mm -hmm. but it will also allow or, or provide an opportunity for the regional countries mm -hmm. to connect with Central Asian markets and Middle Asian markets through through Pakistan. That's we talk about your friends and your your, your neighbors. But now, if we come to more specifically to Thailand, so can you give us uh, an overview of Pakistan Thailand trade <coughs> uh, investment relations? Oh yes. Well, uh, Pakistan and Thailand had always enjoyed a cordial and friendly mm -hmm. diplomatic and of course trade and investment mm -hmm. relations. The diplomatic ties were established in 1951 mm -hmm. and since then, well, the, 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 the visit of their majesties in 1962 provided uh, an impetus to this relationship mm -hmm. and since then there has been uh, several 
high level visits the most recent one when i joined here in march 2013 mm-hmm. the most mm-hmm. recent one is the visit of thai prime minister in august 2013 to pakistan mm-hmm. and the visit of pakistani uh, prime minister uh, mohammad nawaz sharif to mm-hmm. thailand in november 2013 mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. both the leadership decided to double the existing volume of trade so b- leadership of the both countries are aware of the potential which both the countries have mm-hmm. but <coughs> the 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 uh, at the moment uh, bilateral trade between two two nations is is more than 1 billion us dollar oh, oh. Mm. well out of which mm. around 900 is thailand's exports to pakistan <laughs> uh, whereas pakistan is exporting uh. Uh, around more than um, 100 million uh-huh. dollar but there, there, there is a potential uh-huh. uh, so uh, this is uh, i must say uh, quite below the potential there is, there, there is a, there is a potential uh-huh. which we can uh-huh. prove from the statistics you know in 2013 when i came here thailand's import from the world was 250 billion dollar global import mm-hmm. which is now reduced to around 200 mm-hmm. uh, 2 billion dollar and similarly the exports of thailand has also gone down by around 6% mm. but surprisingly the thailand's exports to pakistan have been stable mm. and they have actually increased similarly pakistan's exports to thailand has been not only stable they have also increased mm. which means mm. that despite all these challenges which thai economy is facing these days you know uh, the the ex the trade with pakistan uh, has been stable mm. and has been growing mm. and which shows that it is not particularly vulnerable to to a kind of economic shocks yeah well so what are the major important export then because um, there's a lot of items as you said you know to thailand and also what are the items that thai like from pakistan well uh, th- pakistan uh, primarily exporting uh, raw material you can say mm. or what we say in technical term primary and semi processed mm. goods mm. which includes fishery fishing yes. pakistan uh. is not a very very Seafood like seafood, seafood, seafood eating, eating. nation, <laughs> uh, but uh, we beef eating, yeah. beef eater, <laughs> the, uh, and, and mutton chicken. Uh. <laughs> but you see, uh, so our topmost item of uh. export to Thailand is is fresh cut animal or fishery. Mm. Then comes a range of textile products, starting from yarn and fabric and garments, mm. leather goods, surgical goods, sports mm-hmm. goods, mm-hmm. and some animal products. whereas thailand uh, is export the the major item of ex- export of thailand to pakistan is automobiles and mm, auto parts, parts. Mm. chemical synthetic yarn mm. machinery mm-hmm. air conditioner mm-hmm. you know computer mm-hmm. uh, accessories and 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 food items also some some of the processed food items so how do you describe the efforts of both pakistan and thailand to have a but to increase the bilateral trade and investment to each other well as i as i mentioned that mm. both uh, leadership of both countries at political level they mm. are quite aware of this fact mm. that both mm. countries uh, have substantial potential to 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 increase bilateral trade mm. and there's been some efforts i said there has been high level visits of prime ministers of both the mm. countries mm. My Minister of Commerce Engineer Khurram Dastagir Khan has visited three times three during times. these three years okay. to Thailand. He had meetings with uh. with the Minister General Chhat Chai. Uh. Similarly, Thailand's Commerce Minister, along with a large uh, delegation, visited uh, Pakistan in August 2015. Uh. Uh, so, so the having an awareness of the potential. Uh. and a desire to increase bilateral trade is one thing and then putting an effort is another something else yeah so as a means to to increase bilateral trade both uh, countries decided to to lower down mm. the duties and other non trade uh, non tariff barriers so as the businessmen of both countries should have uh, 
uh, a level playing field mm. and flow of trade should increase. Yes. So therefore, both countries uh, in 2013, mm. in in yes August 2013, when the Joint Trade Committee was established uh, at a ministerial level in Islamabad in August 2013, they decided to uh, have a free trade agreement. Mm. Uh, feasibility studies were conducted by both the countries, which showed. Uh, the, tremendous benefits mm -hmm. to both countries mm -hmm. and since then uh, we have uh, concluded two rounds of negotiations uh, third round will be held in thailand in may mm. this year mm. so may think, is coming then it is coming it's, uh, yes. so the ministries are, uh, of commerce of both countries are working very hard to conclude this uh, fta negotiation as early as possible, but they have also fixed a deadline of uh, mid-2017, uh, mm -hmm. but we are working uh, together to to conclude it as early as possible. Mm, that was about uh, to ask about the FTA negotiation become crucial now for, for the FTA matter that we're going to, to, to in coming in the in May. Yes, it's very yeah. crucial. It's, it's very crucial. Uh, Thailand, as you know, is a hub for ASEAN. Mm. which is uh, around 600 million people market. Mm. You have uh, since uh, December last year created mm. uh, an ASEAN economic community. Mm. And Pakistan has uh, an FTA with your neighbor, Malaysia. Mm. Uh, we have uh, a PTA with Indonesia. Mm. So by concluding uh, an FTA with Thailand, we hope that bilateral trade and investment will increase. Uh, well, by the way, we are we are first negotiating uh, uh, trade in goods. Mm. The the chapters on investment uh, and and services will will be negotiated later. Mm. So we hope to increase bilateral trade and investment relations after signing an FEA, and this will further you know enhance our trade within the ASEAN, and we Pakistani uh, businessmen can use mm -hmm. uh, Thailand as hub. For ASEAN. Mm -hmm. Similarly, mm -hmm. a Thai businessman and investor can use Pakistan a, as a hub uh, for Central Asian mm -hmm. Middle Asian market. Mm -hmm. Pakistan, as you know, itself is a huge it's market huge. Yes. of 200 million people. And yeah. if you include Afghanistan as well, because most mm -hmm. of the trade mm -hmm. uh, in Afghanistan happens through through Pakistan because mm -hmm. it's a landlocked mm -hmm. country. So Pakistan is being used as a conduit to, to, to have trade. In, with Afghanistan and then beyond is Central Asia. So I think, I think both countries have uh, enormous potential and they'll benefit a lot by mm. increasing mm. their trade and investment mm. relations. Yes, let's talk about the liking of the Thai people on textile, especially the Sean. You, I, I, think, oh, yeah. I think that's going to be very, very, you can earn a lot of income out of it when, when come to this kind of uh, wool and all that. Yes, we have two, three uh, centers of uh, producing this woolen shawl, which is mm. cashmere shawl mm -hmm. and pashmina shawl. Mm. Which, you know, they have special way of collecting those wools, mm. uh, wool, uh, you know, from uh, uh, from the sheep. Yeah. And then uh, most of the uh, of the women with their hands, they they weave mm. uh, those wool threads into 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 yes yes, yes yes and then something. they are hand woven shawls in Sawat and Kashmir okay uh, and, and of course in northern areas uh, which is Kilgit and Chetra uh -huh. I mean these these are very high quality handmade uh, shawls produced in Kashmir and and Sawat Valley mm. and they are they are especially liked by well not only Thai but all foreigners Visiting a, Pakistan. Yes, we can. Uh, we can ha earn a lot of money by exporting uh, these products to to Thailand. Yes. Mm. Especially though, you're going to have a expo. This is to for the audience who in 177 country, you have an opportunity to learn today. But what are the goods and commodity Pakistan has, and there will be a very important uh, exhibition mm -hmm. or a, a seminar on the expo. 2006 Tex, Texpo 2016. So, what is that Pakistan have in the section of the of the textile on that to be shown, or what? What's, can you tell us more about that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, uh, the Trade Development Authority, which is part of Ministry of Commerce mm -hmm. of Pakistan, mm -hmm. has been organizing this, this exhibition mm -hmm. uh, since 2005, and we, we held nine uh, sort of events mm -hmm. uh, till last year. Yes. But they were called Expo, uh -huh. wherein uh, we would invite buyers uh, from all over the world mm -hmm. to showcase all products manufactured oh. in Pakistan under one roof. Oh, really? Starting from, say, textiles and fruits and vegetables, surgical goods, yeah. leather yeah. goods and, you know, what not. Oh, not, not only textile? Not only textile. Okay, but this, really was still, text oh, you know, huh. this was still last the last year. Okay. But then there was a realization to uh, convert this into a sector specific because there were complaints by some of the buyers that, okay, we, we go to this exhibition mm. and we find only four, five or seven people of our product of uh, interest. Uh, Since we had to display all the products, yes. so it was a kind of a mixed or general exhibition. Mm. Then there was a realization that, well, let's go towards a specialization and have a sector specific exhibition. That's why this uh, uh, Taxpo or this year we are going to organize a first sector specialization. But this is, a, you know, is a continuation of mm. Expo. Of Expo, okay. But this is mm. now sector specific uh, exhibition mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. a range of products of textiles, uh, for instance, cotton, yarn, fabric, bed linen, home textiles, knitwear, woven garments, and every, every, every. Uh, item of, of, of textile will be displayed. Uh, the manufacturers and producer of all these, the, these products will display their products mm -hmm. in, in their stalls. Mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, uh, leather and leather garments oh, will also yeah. be displayed. So. Mm -hmm. Now, what we, uh, last year, I think there was 19 delegates who mm -hmm. visited with me. From? Uh, from, Thailand from Thailand to, ah. to Expo, yeah. which was a general yeah. exhibition. Yeah. Uh, and they came back quite satisfied and, and, and as a result of that, uh, our, our, our trade uh, with Thailand has increased mm. and this year uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, uh, I'm going with them, mm. the delegation. Oh. Uh, I have uh, almost finalized mm. the list. Okay. Uh, we're going with people who are involved in, in textile uh -huh. and leather. Now what we do is, in order to allay their anxiety, mm. the commercial counselors go with them that, okay, the situation the is, 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 is safe and sound. <laughs> safe and sound <laughs> as against the perception or, or misperception mm. for want of expression, I should say. Uh -huh. And what we offer is that uh, to the genuine uh, buyers, mm. the, the fair organizers, which is again Government of Pakistan, Textile uh, Government of Pakistan, mm. Ministry of Commerce and its Department Trade Development Authority. Mm. Uh, we offer full hospitality to a senior most person of the company mm -hmm. by offering economy class airfare, mm. transportation, hotel stay, uh, and security, of course, ah, okay. mm. uh, for, two, uh, for, for three days. Mm. The exhibition will start from 6th, from 6th. to 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, will the delegation will leave Thailand on 6th of mm. April mm -hmm. and they will be provided uh, hospitality by the fair organizers for three nights which means 6th, 7th and 8th and on 9th they can come back. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. They'll stay in the hotels, we'll have, uh, we'll have uh, fashion shows to, oh. to, to showcase oh, the products wow. as well. So it will be fun. Yeah. And, uh, of course, business. <laughs> business uh, occur over there. Yeah. Who knows? So, uh, how about, let, let me be clear, because uh, to me, so the Thai delegation traveling there with their own product with the, or not? No, they, they'll goods? go there as, as observers. Observer, okay. And buyers. Uh -huh. They'll have not only chance of meeting with Pakistani producers, there are some, some, some other countries who also go and have their stalls uh, have their pavilions, oh. notably Malaysia, Madrid. Okay. They normally have their pavilion. Yeah. Similarly, Jetro, they have their oh, pavilion. Okay. But they'll also have an opportunity of meeting with buyers from all over the world. So every year around four, 
five to six thousand international mm. buyers come and visit mm -hmm. uh, that exhibition. So they'll have chance of meeting with Pakistani producers and also uh, they will have uh, an opportunity to interact with international buyers mm -hmm. there. So it's, it's a good yeah. opportunity yeah. to visit and have interaction. And one important thing is for, for the textile people, at the moment the finished, it's not easy to import finished products from Pakistan mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Thailand because mm -hmm. they, 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 they incur 30% duty yes. which is zero exactly. percent in case of china exactly but my message is that they should have awareness uh -huh. of, of of pakistan uh -huh. as a potential source because in next year or maybe two uh -huh. we'll have this this duties rationalized through fta mm. so they should be prepared for this mm. uh, this the, in the event when an FTA signed, this is one. Mm. Secondly, is the, secondly, uh, Thai textile companies should also consider Pakistan as 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 a place for investment, mm. uh, because mm. I know yes. that uh, Thailand is the cost of production in Thailand is increasing, increasing especially yes. in textile. Well, after that, that pay you know the the, the minimum rise mm. in in the in the pay. Now Pakistan has very uh, flexible and an attractive investment policy in the region. Mm. We offer 100% ownership to mm. the foreign investors. Mm. There is no restriction on repatriation of capital and profit. And also Pakistan has signed 10 years GSP plus arrangement oh, with wow. EU oh. starting from 2014. So mm. if you invest and produce in Pakistan, you have the opportunity of exporting duty free mm. and quota free to EU as well. From wow, Pakistan. So they should also consider Pakistan as a place of investment mm. and uh, and of course as, 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 as a place for buying these products. Very good. So uh, we are our time is up. But again, do I, we need to know more when the when the expo done. Okay. The nation come back and tell us about that also. We're going to have some, our trip to travel there also. Thank you. So that we can do something out of it. Right? Thank you. So uh, we have to end up by thank you, Dr. Nazim Latif, Commercial Counselor, Pakistan Embassy, for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thailand Today would like to thank Dr. Nazim Latif, Commercial Counselor at Pakistan Embassy who kept us abreast with Pakistan, Thailand trade and investment relations and his invitation for Thai business people to join the country's first textile sector specific exhibition or Texpo 2016 during April 7 to 10, 2016 in Karachi, Pakistan. Thank you for watching Thailand Today. I'm Kusumayo Tasmut. Hope to see you again, same place, same time. สวัสดีค่ะ